Hi hey, Jimmy, that's Stuart here, I'm just downstairs. Pardon? That's Stuart here, I'm just downstairs. Pardon? You're downstairs, okay. Alrighty. Come on. Alrighty. Good afternoon, Jimmy. I couldn't make you out in that phone. You get a hearing aid sometimes. Five months or two weeks. Five months. <laughs> but I mean, that's ridiculous. It's just nonsense. Memory. You can remember certain things, but you don't know what order they're in, that's quite true. Well, we went to see Hearts and Rangers in the way back in 1931, I think it was, according to, according to data, somebody said. It was 4 each. I remember the score was 4 each. Rangers scored first and Hearts were 3 1 up at half time, and Hearts were 4 1 up and it was 4 each. Did you not also get your finger jammed in the door? That one. So what happened? I don't know, I just jammed it, was just playing. And then run in at my granny's and uh, we get jammed in my granny's door. I was so. When you think, and I stayed in the clothes, my granny stayed, my paternal grandmother stayed up the stair, my auntie stayed the next close, my granny and what was left of the kids that when they married stayed in 85, and my auntie Tina stayed in 95, you know, five families and four closes. When you stayed in the close of the toilets in the back, when you stayed up the stair, the toilets on the half land and so that. So what year were you born? 1927. Your first house that you can remember, how big was it? How many rooms did it have? A room and kitchen. Everybody stayed in a room and kitchen. I mean, everybody had a room and kitchen. I mean, the whole street was a room and kitchen. I mean, you can have a school, you didn't bother going up, just set it up for a piece. And if you couldn't get a piece in your room, I didn't hear you because we were free up at that time then. My auntie Maggie was the next close of mine. Granny was next close and my auntie was the next close, so it's all right, I could get a piece at any door. <laughs> oh, hi, but then secondary school, was, the war was on. The war came on. I just went to secondary school on the Monday and the war started the following Sunday or something. The Blitz in itself was only, only lasted a couple of nights, and we went down to Weed a Hut down between Troon and Irving, so we went down there in the March. That was March 41. There for over a year and then came back again. Did your dad fight in the Second World War then? No, the First World War. He never talked about it either, so. I, mean, I was working with that time, I was 14. He just went to work the next day. I was in a station or something. Then when I went down to, I worked in Brassy Works and then I got a transfer up to St. Rollins and then I came back up the road. Really worked. So, what age were you when you had your first child then? 33. Were you ready for it? Yeah, just. <laughs> These things just happen, you know. <laughs> just people just live their lives. I mean, I mean, John Campbell now, because I've not met him for years, and he phoned up one time during the summer there and said, oh, Jimmy, I said, it's John Campbell. I said, I know John Campbell. He said, I thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good opening. <laughs> what age are you? 91. The worst one's getting through a day for one day to the next, isn't it? <laughs> through a week for one week to the next. Can you get, imagine through the door, 25 year old Jimmy were to walk in, right? He's coming a time machine. What would you say to him? Nothing. What's the first movie you can remember seeing in the pictures? Dead End Kids, I think. I mean, I can remember Shirley Temple, but just vaguely. And then it was all the comedians, it was Charlie Chaplin and 
på stakettene, når det er skrej, så nå. Men i over har den Stan Lord kommet over, og den Austin Jolson, og people like that. You know. <laughs> After you've passed away, how would you like to be remembered? I don't care. After you've passed away, why would you worry about anything? Why would you like to be remembered? Why, why would you like to be remembered? If I, if I die tomorrow, I just die, don't I? That's it. You just got to go on and, and do what you think. Whatever I'm going to go. He broke his leg. I said, like, I didn't know he'd broken a leg. I said, he said, Gus told me. I said, well, did he tell me? And I see him almost every day. So do you have any advice for, for to any 25-year-old today? No, I wouldn't give anybody advice. Do what they want to do. What's his advice? Just ignore it anyway. Give <laughs> 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 advice. So that stupid old fool that, what does he think he is? <laughs> if I were to say that, well, whatever you said, I would take the advice and go put it in place immediately. What would you say to me? Aye, that'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy yourself. That's all you can do. You can't do anything else except do your best to enjoy yourself, what you like to do. Would you say that you've enjoyed yourself then? Most of the time you do. I'm Jimmy Wilson, I'm 91 years old. I think yeah, what you should do with your life is enjoy it and enjoy yourself. And thanks for coming and having a wee play there. <laughs>